Hi, I'm Olivia Garcia. I'm Trisha Garcia. And I'm Joe Garcia. And we're going to be performing a dramatic reading of my script, Off Cape. So, if we're ready, let's start. Okay, we're starting right here. Yep. Exterior Perry Dorms night. Evelyn, Georgia, and Abe are walking outside the entrance to Perry Dorms. Evelyn has her purse and keys on hand. I know I gave you my adorable stubbornness, and I curse genetics every day, but I think you should give this new coffee house a try. I don't know, even its name screams, we don't serve smoke locks like Eli's does. Yeah, the Calico Cat, what kind of name is that? You know, I've always considered myself a dog person. Our pet free home disagrees. Abe sticks your tongue out of her. Come on, we all agreed that although you're, they're not up to Eli's level, the lattes are pretty damn good. Georgia throws up her hands in the air melodramatically. Fine, but I was serious about coming back to Eli's frequently, so I can promise you we won't get attached to this new place. Oh, I know you were serious. I told Eli to put in a new order of bagels for you guys pretty soon. The trio stop walking in the parking lot as they reach Evelyn's SUV. So before I leave, and you guys rejoice over your newfound freedom, I have surprises for both of you. You have the bagels already? That would be a no. Evelyn pops the trunk of her SUV and rummages in the back before stepping inside to reveal a large cardboard box. Christmas came early. Oh, we forgot to pack something else. No, your sharp mother did not forget. I intentionally left this last bit for just us three. So go ahead, open it before the college attitude ices me out. Georgia and Abe step forward and Georgia rips the layer of tape off. Inside the box is a worn brown typewriter and a Super 8 camera. Dad's typewriter and film camera. Whoa. Why are you giving these to us now? Well, I know we mentioned it vaguely, but I figured these would be perfect moving day gifts. It'll give your dorms a taste of home. Abe picks up the camera, running his hands over the exterior while Georgia presses the keys of the typewriter. It feels like him. Yeah, I mean, is it too cliche to say that I feel like he's here with us? Evelyn's <laughs> eyes blossom with tears and she laughs before wiping her eyes. No, God, no. Your dad and I talked about when we'd let you go away to college once. He had talked about giving his stuff to you from the get-go. Well, it was when you two had proved your talents in the arts, of course. Your dad wasn't going to give any of his valuables to just any crummy kids. Something's telling me you're embellishing that. Who's to say? He did always believe in you two. I mean, Abe, he saw your filmmaking eye from the moment he caught you looking through his lenses. What can I say? I like a good fish eye. And Georgie, he knew you would be a better writer from the moment you could talk. Again, with the embellishing. I'm dead serious, kiddo. God forbid you remember this, but one time you and Abe overheard your father using the word cowabunga, and you were both so fascinated by it. And you, Georgie, picked it up immediately. Abe took a little bit longer, but you latched onto it. You wouldn't stop saying it, and your father turned to me and said, she's gonna be a writer. Georgia looks in awe at her mother before turning to the typewriter with a smile. Not to overshadow this, but I don't think either of us have used that word since. Well, that's on you. Your father would be so disappointed. Georgia turns her attention away from the typewriter and rolls her eyes. You guys are ruining this moment. What moment? The goodbye moment. I thought that was that. I thought that was the whole dad's gift thing was for. Well, that was different. This is the final goodbye moment. My kid, the drama queen. I just think it should feel like a big moment. But. Well, it doesn't. Well, what does it feel like? It feels like a Saturday. And. And it's getting dark out. You're a suit. Honey, I know everybody else forces the goodbye moment to be a big thing, but the writer in you is trying a little too hard. You think so? Yeah, hon, you were right earlier. A 30 minute train right away. And a 35 minute train away to Eli's. And for a sweet talking for me, less than 10 seconds away at the click of a button. You're right, the moment was never here. Nope, just my truth and wit. Evelyn checks the time on her phone and huffs out of breath before giving her children a soft smile. Well, guys. Suddenly, Abe grabs George's arm and they both give Evelyn a dog pile type of hug, swaying her. Evelyn chokes out a laugh, stroking the top of her children's head. Here's your mo moment, Georgie. The three continue to embrace before Evelyn gives them one last squeeze. With one last smile, she begins walking her to her SVV. Georgia and Abe start to walk back to Perry, but their sight never leaves their mother. Eat some prosciutto for me. But save some for me. I'm buying more tomorrow and no promises. And go learn about the bourgeoisie and shotgunning beers. Just kidding about that last part. Stay my perfect innocent angel. No promises. The three continue to shout at each other as they go to their separate ways. The streetlights illuminate their theatrics. 